So I get asked a lot of questions about how to play by ear, and so I thought I'd demonstrate a little bit on the piano. Um, it can feel a little overwhelming, perhaps, if you've never done it before. Um, and today I want to learn how to play by ear uh, just using the white keys of the piano, and I'm going to start with some simple and familiar tunes. Um, that's that's going to make a big difference. Now, one thing we want to know is we want to be able to hear whether a sound goes up or down. So if you hear a melody that goes da da, you want to be able to determine, well, did that sound go up? Did it get more intense or did it get less intense? Did it go down? Listen again. Da da. Now for some people it's obvious that the sound went up. Um, but if you're not one of those people, that's kind of the, the sense that you need to develop. And on the piano, up means to the right. Uh, so the notes that I just played, for instance, there were, I just sang, were E going up to G. So once you have a sense of whether something goes up or down, then you want to determine whether it goes up by a lot, meaning more than a few notes, that's called a leap, or whether it went up by just a very small amount, which would be called a step. Um, <clears throat> so for instance, the one I just did is a very, very small leap. So uh, technically we would say E up to F is a half step, E up to F sharp is a whole step, because it's two half steps, and then E up to G is, well, we call it a minor third, but anyway, from that point on, everything is going to be considered a leap, because it's a bigger distance. <clears throat> so you want to be able to hear, take a listen to this one, see if you can tell if it goes down or up, and if it's a step or a leap. Ta -da and if you sing it to yourself, Da -dum, and say, can I make it any smaller? Because if you can't make it any smaller, then it's probably already a step. Da -da, I can't really squeeze anything else in there, so... Now you might be saying, well, how did I know that the first note was an F anyway? And you don't, unless you have perfect pitch or pitch memory, or you're going to spend a little time playing guessing game at the piano, which is which is fine, and we can get to that later. So, But we don't need to have perfect pitch or pitch memory to, to, to begin to play by ear. Um, that can be very intimidating. I want to start with uh, the idea of the C scale, which is just all white notes on the piano. Now, I've labeled my piano keyboard, uh, and this is middle C. It's the C in the middle of the piano. I use a whiteboard marker to label my keys. I would urge you to do the same thing. Um, and I want to say... If we want to find melodies by ear, you're going to have your best luck starting if you want to use all white keys, which I, again, I recommend because it narrows down your choices. You only have seven different keys to work with instead of all 12, if you include the black keys. So um, you have fewer choices to make. I would recommend starting on a C for your melody, or second choice would be a G. And then the third choice, if none of that's working out, I would start on an E, okay? Because most melodies will start on one of these notes if they're in the key of C major. Um, so I'm going to start Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, <clears throat> and I'm just going to pick a random one of those three notes. I'm going to pick E, and we're going to see if we can do it with all white keys. So dun dun. Now for starters, once you pick your note, you got to start to hear the melody in your mind. Now you can sing it out loud if you want, or you could just hear it in your mind. Da 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 Right, we know that melody. So did it go up? Da 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 Or did it go down? If you said up, you're right. Now if it went up a smaller distance, it would be something like da 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 or da 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 but it was da da da. So that's a pretty big distance. Now in music, big distances for melodies are usually like in this area, like about that far apart. And occasionally up here, it's almost unheard of, although it happens, for a melody to jump way up here. So when I say a big distance, I'm talking like, you know, here basically, uh, and maybe here. Now compare that. Dun, 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 dun. Did that sound right? Not exactly, because we want to dun, 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 dun. So it needs to be a little bit. Well, that's not really working. It was going the wrong. That's actually worse, right? Dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun, dun. No, it went up from there. 
again, we're all white keys. Not exactly right, so I'll try. Okay, so this is not really working out. So now my proposal to you is then I would recommend starting on a different note of the chord for your melody. So let's not start on E since E is not really working out so well for us. Uh, it was working up into a point. Let's start on G. So we, we know that the first distance from E to B, that was good. So we're just gonna move that distance, walk it up to G to D. So we know the beginning is, so dun, 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 dun. Now that was too big. There we go. Now I have some advice for you, which is that sometimes when you're in the middle of a melody, it's very easy for your, your brain to kind of get lost in the sound and forget where you are even if you think you know where you are. So it's always helpful to go back to the beginning of the melody. That allows the brain to kind of reestablish the beginning. What is the sound like? Where is it going? And what should the next sound sound like? Because uh, if you lose the sense of what the next sound should sound like, then you're just fishing for nothing. You're, you're poking around in the dark. So does it go up? Or does it go down? Well, that sounds kind of nice, but that's not exactly the melody, right? So I've eliminated these two. No, it's not that either, isn't it? So I'm gonna eliminate that one. But this is not right either. It has to be a smaller distance, I think. And there it is. Now we can keep going from there, but you get the idea. <clears throat> so this is working out so far. This is working out starting on a G. You could try it starting on a C uh, and that would probably work too. But on an E, it seems like it's not working. That's okay. So now I wanna go to another one. Let's do um, Mary Had a Little Lamb. And why don't we start on a C? So once you have that first note, you wanna imagine what does the melody sound like? Da, Mary had a little lamb. And it might take you a second to kind of hear that or imagine that in your mind. Now I hear it going down, Mary had, right? No, Mary had. Not quite right either, right? So these are all sounding wrong. And when all of your guesses are sounding wrong, you might want to consider starting on a different note of the chord. So let's try starting on the E instead. So Mary had. Well, maybe it's not a leap. Maybe it's a smaller distance. Mary. There we go. Mary. There we go. Now we're starting to sound like the song. Not right. Not right. So again, try to remember, okay, so E and B were not working out for the fourth note, so. Ah, there it is, D. Oops, wrong. And, oh, I'm looking around for notes and now I'm lost. Okay, so it's at this point you want to go back to the beginning and refresh. What does this thing sound like and where are we going? Good. So let's do one more. Happy birthday. And let's start. Let's try starting on the E. Happy birthday to you. Mm, I feel like it goes up. But those all sound wrong, so maybe we should start on a different note. Let's try the G. There we go. And then already it's sounding like the melody. Happy birthday to you. Not exactly right. Ooh, that sounds like the song, but that sounds like something later in the song. Now that's too big of a jump. Ah, there it is, I found it. 
Does it go up or down? Not exactly. There it is. Now the next phrase, try to hear patterns too. Does the next phrase start the same? Happy birthday to you, happy birthday. It does. So that means we already know what the first few notes are. But they're that, just like the beginning. So here's the beginning. Again, starting. Now I told you that D came later in the song and there's where it is. So notice how the two phrases are very similar. Just the second one goes a little bit higher. Now the third one, bum ba da 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 da. Does that go higher or lower than the rest? Let's try lower. Ooh, that sounds disappointing. That'd be a sad happy birthday song. Let's go back to the beginning. We're losing the thread. Well, that's not bad, but that doesn't really sound like the song. Well, that just sounds funny, doesn't it? Let's go back to the beginning. And let's keep going. Ah, there it is, you hear it? And then I hear it going back down, but not exactly like that. Nope, not F, right? Ah, it's E. Nope. Ah, there it is. Does it keep going, stepping, skipping over a note? Not exactly. There it is. Nope. And again, I know how this goes. I'm just kind of demonstrating what it's like to, to be in the middle of this process and not knowing what the next note is. You're trying things. That's okay. You're going to get better at, at guessing which is the next note which is a big leap, which is a small leap. Just remember, you can use all white keys and you can try starting your melody on a C or an E or a G. And you have to have the sound of the melody in your mind. You can sing it out loud. Um, that's probably the best, but if you're not good at carrying a pitch with your singing, it might be good to try and just imagine how it sounds and then try and hear whether what you're playing matches what it sounds like in your mind. So this is your little introduction to playing by ear. It's not easy. It takes some experience. And um, the idea, I should mention one more thing about perfect pitch if you're interested. Or um, Some people will know, for instance, that uh, if I play something like Here Comes the Sun, um, that that's not the original key of the song. They might think, well, it sounds like the song, but really the sound should so the song should sound like And some people might know immediately that's the key that the, the Beatles wrote that song in. And so that's perfect pitch when you know that this is not the song. Now the song sounds nice in that key and we could certainly play it in that key. There's 12 different places we could play the song in fact on the piano because there are 12 different notes. Um, so some people might might hear, oh, the first note of, you know, of that song has to be that, C sharp. And so they might find that. And from there, you can't use all white keys because at that point you're in a different key. So at that point, you really have to either know your scales. I happen to know that that's part of an A major scale. Or you have to be patient and really work your way through the combinations of whites and black, black keys. Um, until you find what sounds like the melody. So it's a little bit more labor intensive, which is why I encourage those of you without perfect pitch to try using the all white key uh, formula. It's a much easier way to start figuring things out. And this is a skill like anything else. You can practice it, you can get better at it. And over time, you will just get better at playing anything by ear. So don't hesitate to start with Mary Had a Little Lamb or um, the simplest song you can think of. That's a great way to start and not get overwhelmed.